Hi guys. Okay. Joel just made a comment a while ago that uh, today, Monday, and it's the 4th of February. Feels like a whole week has occurred in one day today. <laughs> and just in the last couple of hours, actually, got off to a slow start. However, all kinds of exciting things happening. Now, first of all, um, Adam saw the second son and got photographs of it. He's just sending them to me now. Clicking save all. Yes, okay. And clicking where to. Libraries, pictures. Okay, there they go. Being saved. Now, Catherine is arriving Thursday morning. We're all very excited. Qantas Flight 16, Sweet 16, and uh, she's made the break. She's tried, come what may, to make it work in the USA, and uh, of course it's not. So, she got her passport. It arrived just last week while we're away, and we pick her up from the airport Thursday morning. Very excited. This is the beginning of the gathering. And uh, Brett, we expect you to be out here real soon. We've got a tailgate we want you to spray with the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> oh dear, I do. Life just gets more and more exciting. Now I'm just you can hear the beep of Adam's files coming through. Yah has been measuring the moon. Uh, today we were live real time with uh, James in Ontario and each of us testing the Coriolis over the period of about uh, 40 minutes and it, it's been going like this. North and Southern Hemisphere, sometimes it was going in the same direction at the same time but it's been backwards and forwards. The moon has been rising in different positions so there's definitely a wobble going on with the the earth and Yas working on a PowerPoint now with some measuring that he's been doing all very exciting. Now I'm just going to open these uh, so the moon at, um, at this time you saw it rise towards Brisbane. Yeah, it was right. between those two houses. It's impossible. Right. It has to rise three one six point eight miles north of Tugum, and Tugum from the eight 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 point eight solar eclipse of nine forty five nine forty four twenty fifth your January birthday yeah. I guess, in Martha. last month. Um, the distance to here is Almighty God seven seven zero six hundred yeah miles or north of nine. Yes. Which is all mighty good. Yeah. So we hit this date and uh, the water had no spin. It reversed and then went the other direction again. That's right. And it was in time with uh, was it James in uh, Ontario? Yes, James was in Ontario. Oh um, my goodness. These uh, photographs have just come through. I'm going to take the camera off the top of the computer to get a shot of these. Do you want to come around here? Um, just respond to Adam. <sighs> look at this. My goodness. Hey guys, come and have a look at these. These are the photographs that Adam took. Yes, yeah, he found the cord to uh, the camera. Let me just see if I can. Whoa. That sun is very close. Wow. Let's see if I can get to. Push that, the little button. To the left of the left arrow, yeah, that one. There's a magnifying thing here. Look, mm. Is that? Wow. 
Which thing, babe? Here. To the magnifying on the very left. Oh. Try that. You can slide see. it up and down. Yeah. Oh. Then you just can drag it around with the hand on the screen. Breathe, isn't it? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's amazing. The spectrum that was here. The red glow underneath. Ah. Uh, astonishing. Now. So this is um, the destroyer being lined up. This is from Poland, just hours ago. Adam sending look over here. Right. Now, of course, they've been doing uh, chem trailing. Uh, now, in the two weeks we were away, we got hacked twice. The computer is still buggy. And um, we were told by uh, my ardent follower, my grand niece, my brother's granddaughter, who um, I got together, her mother and father, after Jaime had been in jail in Morocco. And I managed to get him to enter the lodgings in London where the Jewish lady was talking to Michelle and I in Hurstville at that same moment looking for Jaime, which Michelle said he's got no chance of getting back into England, right, because he's also locked up in the jail. And he walks in the door as this woman is talking to him. So uh, Lily appreciates that. And I've said to her, listen to what your parents are saying. They are all stupid. Protocol 14. Yes. Yeah, oh, that was something that was already in the file. But look at this. This is really weird. Look. Got this here, above here. Or is that? And it's just it. reflecting of the cloud, yeah. and this is, but this is. But you see the reflection on the <sighs> top sphere is of the sun. So in other words, in front of the sun. What? Now this is the destroyer getting lined up. And the Bible prophecy has not failed so far. Okay, so it's 1.10 in the afternoon there now. I'm just asking what time this were taken. <laughs> oh, these are so amazing. The on the it? Yes, down here. Now, that is a planet, it's not a sun. Now, up top, go up top. Yeah. That one there, that's yeah. not glowing. That dot is reflecting off the sun. Off the sun, that's right. right. Coming off the sea or off the clouds. Yeah, but this is. this that's is a, That's a planet. This is the and planet. That, above that seems to be a little moon. Excuse me, Shiba. Right? It's yeah. a new earth, new moon, see? Okay, I'll just see what Adam's answer is. Uh, 8.15 a.m. So it's coming up. Yeah, this is rising. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It is truly a bastard if you knew about it. <laughs> See how fast it's moving? How, how, yeah. Ask him how close were the shots. Okay. You took four, didn't you? More, six. Okay. How quickly? Close. In time were the shots taken. <gasps> these are astonishing, babe. This is th this. Tell him that the um, moon is moved in the wrong position because of the Coriolis effect we did test today. But they're flicking back and forth. So the moon's coming up in the wrong spot. It's coming up south of Tiger, it should be north. So likewise, it's the Earth is flipping back and forwards because it's trying to It's trying to balance. It will, it will balance. 
I'll get you to put those files on a stick and then I'll okay. put them in the uh, so that's what the resolution. You're pointing that thing over here? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, You're pointing at the golden helmet at the back. Oh, oh, here we go. You can uh, see the golden helmet. Oh, he's got another nine. Um, he says these enough. shots are leading up to it. How far a part in time? Is there a? There's no date stamp on. No, no, I know. Um, time. Sometimes the camera takes time. He's writing. That's if he's got set. Well, no, he's writing. So anyhow, uh, Lily goes to see Stephen, a lunatic uh, nephew. Well, it looks likely his wife is trying to kill him. He says over 30 minutes from 7.45 until 8.15. This is the entire sunrise. Okay. So now we can work out how long it is between the two. It's half an hour. So you get the first and last to see how far it's moved across the sky. And how far it's come up. Oh, look what's going on here. <laughs> oh no! How are you doing that? This is, it's an impossibility. I'm filming. I can do turn around. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> it's us! And. Oh yeah, let me. Drop that out. There we go. We got the sun and the sun. Yeah, we've got. Yeah. Come on. Now I've got the screen. <laughs> no, yeah, the there, yeah. There you go. All right. It's working. It's just. Uh, now get over to take a look at these other ones. There's nine of these ones. Okay, 7.39 a.m. Where's this one? 7.40, okay. Ooh, here we go. So this was at 7.39 a.m. 7.40 a.m. How long between that one and the last one? One one seven one. Let me see what their properties. Um, seven fifty eight, and the next one. Seven fifty eight. Seven fifty eight. 
Oh, come on. Oh, so. 759. It's one minute. So the chemtrails come over. 759. Okay, let's Protocol see. 14. We uh, will forbid <laughs> Christ. Christ. So the result is this. That a destroyer is coming. You see how it's moving across the face of the sun? Yeah. Let's see what time this one is. Okay, 758 again. On the road again. And that's moved, but it's still 758. <laughs> so is right. that one? Yep. 756. Seven forty six. <coughs> Excuse me. Seven forty one. Seven forty. Seven forty. Seven forty. Seven thirty-nine. That's it. That's it. Gnarly. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. Okie dokie. Cool or what, he says. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it looks like a planet with a moon. It's the, it's the biblical... Golden City. I'm going to put this back. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, bye. Hello there. Thanks. Ripping yarn, what? <coughs> um, in Melbourne, you wouldn't believe the yarn. Uh, Discussions that we had with the saints down there, and uh, had the little children. The three of these gorgeous babies of themselves came into being because I made it happen. And uh, Lily just come back from visiting her insane uncle, Stephen, in the Philippines. And uh, What's that? This is the Dender a Zodiac that I was telling you about. Oh, right. Of but, course but it's from 1998, uh, Christian. So now, what you've got there is uh, Aquarius and Leo, um, Taurus and uh, Scorpio. Huh? Now, the Taurus and Scorpio is Tracy and uh, Nicole. Right, their birth dates. Yes. They, they key into. Now, the other direction, uh, you're moving around that zodiac, you come to Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is Rhiannon. Right? Mm. So Rhiannon, Nicole, and Tracy, um, with Michelle, would you go around to Pisces, uh, you're moving towards. Uh, Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm trying. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Do you want to <laughs> So we're going towards Pisces, which brings Michelle into it. And um, she's just too dumb to see it. But so she was uh, as Mary Magdalene. Right. So she was. Yeah. So you deal with the cards that's given to you by the Almighty, which is myself, which I've forgotten by the time I'm living as a human being. About to get uh, nailed at a cross. That's not a happy at all. So it's got in the flesh coming down. And uh, all the numbers are uh, determined by Tracy, who was born 
when all the planets lined up in 2004, back in 1968, and my weight on all the planets is the same number as the area of the shrouded terrain, which is the same height as the highest mountain cited by Cook and Wallace for the Harrison clock. My relative invented the Harrison clock. So it all comes together in the length of my arm, which is uh, 513 millimetres. The same as uh, Grant Barlow, he's the same arm as mine. Comes from New Zealand. He was, uh, he died and uh, he was dead for a long while and then was sent back and told to go to Australia where I uh, bought a videotape of him at a uh, uh, Barry Smith seminar at one of the churches where I see him and Wendy waving their heads and hands off in the middle of this video before I met them. So it's quite a, quite a story. And of course uh, Michelle has witness to that but won't come forward. So uh, at this point in time um, we take over and uh, anyone who wants to come to Australia from any nation can do so. Just tell them I sent you. And you're going to the Kingdom of God. Do mm. them. And then we'll have to escape and move to Victoria. Victoria. Because that prophecy is of the old church in Diamond Valley, Diamond Creek, was uh, Christ would come from uh, Melbourne. Because I had. At, from Diamond Creek, which I did. Greensboro. So I fulfilled prophecy then. And it's witnessed by, of course, uh, everybody who was going to the Seventh day Adventist Church. Uh, Don Anderson and his wife. And uh, she did Catholic. And there's probably seminars on showing that the beast is uh, Rome. Well, it's not, it's um, England. Mm. Rome don't do any killing. Not anymore. That's been taken over by Elizabeth. So, in my other work here, which I'm making a PowerPoint, um, the moon is coming up in the wrong position uh, because the Earth is going through the Coriolis wobble. And uh, Antarctica is like a giant damper. And it had to be created when Mars bumped into it and pushed out Antarctica and ejected the moon out through the centre of Antarctica's mountain, which is an average of 9420 uh, feet high as a ring. And the moon came out through there and that uh, made the mammals uh, ovulate and the seas ovulate and the life as you know it today occurred and the dinosaurs, their weight changed and they collapsed in a little way. Where the smaller mammals, which we hear a lot, were able to adapt. And that's why people were bigger at the time of Adam and they got smaller. They were giants in those days. It's just on the bottom, but should be the And um, these giants got smaller and smaller. It said that of Judah that he could outrun a hind. That's how big and fast he was, powerful. I asked Adam. About, about a 25 foot tall thing. Hmm. I asked Adam what made him get up this morning and, and take the pickies. Uh, he said the chemtrails had only been placed in front of the sun. Um, he said I'd woken up to go to the bathroom at 7 on the dime, came out and thought, you know, I'm going to snap some pics and see if it's real, as I had the day before been searching and posting many bits of the two sun's sightings. I waited until the sun came over the horizon. So, um, Claudia is our witness against the Jews, controlled by London. Hmm. And what they have done to the people of Poland. Oh, They've totally oh. demoralised them. I'll, I'll read what Adam has posted earlier this evening. Uh, and they're all Catholics, of course. Now, I was born to a Catholic church. How to be? Listen to this. Take our voice South America, look at this. This is disgusting. 
this is all over a 50 euro bank fee fine. But it is a checkmate though. Yes. Anyway, Kay may be arrested, by the way, after they garnish her wages and tax an extra 250 zlotter, so around 500 zlotter off her initial paycheck, just because of a bank fee of 50 euro. We respond, thieves and robbers about to burn in the lake of fire. They hire bounty hunters, says Adam. He showed up at her work, threatening court and arrest, which is the go here. They lock people up for eight months until their trial, and then they're let free with a mass amount of debt. Um, so they will garnish her wage and put her back on a set wage. Then she will have to pay after her pay comes in, which will be for working almost every day this month. So her pay will end up being a thousand or twelve hundred zlotter, which is the lowest wage they offer. Um, for the Aussie dollar, there's 3.15 zlotter. So when a thousand dollars is 333 Aussie dollars, we're talking about for a month of slaving. She is the first employee in history at the plant, they employ 3,000 people, to receive the same amount for a second paycheck as the first is slow, low, so low for probation period. First month the pay is shit, then the second is supposed to be almost double. And then he says the Jewish Gestapo runs Europe. So I ask, so if the debt is paid in one go, what then? He says, huh, they still garnish the wage for not replying sooner and resulting in the bounty. The only thing that changes is she won't have to go to court, which they try to slap on people even after paying. He says it's a fucking joke. Um, then he says they have a system where each year for tax they need to know how many hours you worked, what days, and you're taxed accordingly. Then if you're on social securities, it isn't free, you're in debt. If you don't work, they tax you and go into debt, so it would be like minus 3,000 slotter for not working. Then upon death, they send the debt to the family in form of a will. The family must decline the will and write themselves off of it to not take on the debt. Any possessions, that's of the deceased, goes to the state. He said it's hard to believe. He said he only learned of it a few days ago. Claudia had to write herself of her past grandmother's will and receive nothing. They would have sold World War II jewellery and valuables, but it was that and 50,000 slaughter debt, and that's years in prison if not paid. And then talks about her, her dad being smacked with a thousand, he says dollar fine, must be slaughtered for not properly filing taxes, which was the accountant's fault. And his monthly wage almost all goes to the state. And this is a man who has five children. Um, and then in Sloops, there is a bank on every corner, all with different Just names. A second. What, darling? You missed something there. Oh, Yas. Yah is saying all of Poland suffers because they don't believe in him. And then Adam says, and in Slupsk there is a bank on every corner, all with different names, run by the same conglomerates, such as Lloyd Bank and HSBC, etc. And then he, can, he replies to not believing. They have been conditioned, returned souls from hell on earth, hence all the alcoholism. Gas stations have alcohol kiosks. Every market, every little store. It's insane here how many alcoholics there are. Yeah, says he can't blame them. And then he says, not their history is one that is saddening. They've been deceived by Russian kings, their land taken, their language wiped from the map. They didn't even belong on a map. Their king was slaughtered in a theater in front of all other regional kings. They were constantly attacked by the Germans and Russians for the land and almost always lost. Then World War I and II had its economic total on them while they were being slaughtered by Russians and starved to death. And now they reincarnate to their resources and wealth, being sold to Russians and the US and then resold back to them for triple. So all of their resources are sold, exported and sold, and then resold to them for triple the amount that mm. uh, um, they 
had their one hope, which was Kaczynski, then he was killed along with all of his Senate supporters and administration. The taxes keep rising, the rich are getting richer and the poor are dying. But hey, a beer is one litre, 1.5 slot, so that would be what, less than 50 cents, Australian money. And vodka is four slotter. However, one kilo of rice is six slotter. Butter is between four and six slotter. So in other words, it's cheaper to drink and eat. He said, and petrol and gas, it's ridiculous. Welfare is 230 slotter a month, so that's uh, less than $70 a month. So Yara is suggesting that Kay go to the Canadian Embassy as well, declare herself a refugee. They are hunting her down. She has nowhere to live and to give them his name. And then... Uh, she bears witness what we did in New, in, uh, New Guinea and Fiji. Uh, absolutely, that's right. <clears throat> okay, now I'll get back through the photographs. Let's see what his responses are. So the evil is going to be wiped off the flesh of the map. That's simple. In our trip to Melbourne, I didn't find anyone of those same. Okay, he talks that he waited until the sun came over the horizon. The weirdest part was the clouds facing me and their backs to the sun had light on the face of them. So like this, my posse, my posse, light, cloud, no light, sun. The sun should be in front of the cloud adjacent to my position. I thought there was a sun rising behind me. So the earth is in a wobble. The corridor is repeated today. We had James in Canada. Mm. At the same time, we're doing Real the test time. he was, and his was changing back and forth, in tune with ours changing back and forth. Yeah, I'll post. I'm James, huh? Yeah. Oh, no, Susan. Susan. Hey, I just noticed something. Right. One, two, four, five. One, two, five, four. Oh, no, it's okay. I thought it was um, doing what it was doing with John Lynch when the time goes backwards. Right. Is it? No. It just looked like it was from this perspective. Everybody loves something. So we have the uh, Coriolis, because we're moving through the centre line of the Milky Way galaxy. Well, one thing we did learn that uh, Graham told us that uh, one night the uh, show that he regularly listens to changed his mm -hmm. music to uh, more angelic and renamed the show because he said that we had crossed over the 
into the heavenly side of the Milky Way galaxy. In other words, he's been listening and watching what we've been saying. Of course, that's mm. what's happening. Mm. Has to be. Well, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you reckon? It's getting exciting, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It's moving. I'm very excited about casting time. Yes. Yeah. Girl power. You know why she's coming in? To meet the creator. She's exactly. Sister. That's right. Can't wait. Mm. Someone who's genuine coming out to meet the creator. Yes. <laughs> can't get none of your family, can I? That's exciting. So early Thursday morning, I have to leave here about 4.30. And we'll be there with bells on to pick her up. Do you want to take both of them? <laughs> cool in the green, isn't it? <laughs> she can sit on the back with that, that black thing on the with that headlight thing, that bra thing. <laughs> so we end up getting our good for 1600 Yeah, about that. And then we've got to spend some money on it to fix it, but the uh, point is we've got it for 1600 Probably fix it for 1000 Fix that. Mm. It's a lovely year. It's half done, isn't it? Mm. Yep, you did it. You pulled the bang out of the tablet. Ah, Adam's writing about my dreams where I'm pulled up and down in all directions, unable to control. Mm. It's the Coriolis. Mm. Let me see. Mm. <laughs> Flores, let there be light there. Hey, yep. All right, we're ready for bed. Yeah, I'll finish it off tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't sleep at all last night. Nights in white pattern, round and around and around. It was in the club yesterday, the RSL, the Valley of the Shadow of Death. I, I was playing on the piano, the Nights in White Satin. So yesterday we go to the RSL for the salad roll, or the, the beer at 10 o'clock. <laughs> And they're playing in the RSL, the Valley of the Shadow of Death, Nights in White Saturn, thinking, this is weird. And uh, so last night, all night, Nights in White Saturn. <laughs> Beautiful song. So all the Jews have to do is file past the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, yeah. And, that'll uh, sort them out. That'll sort them out. One... One side goes down to a set of spinning blades. Yep. And the other side goes through into the high lands. Mm. So the arc will decide. Yep. Left and right. Mm. Separation of the sheep. If you don't go in, if you think you're holy, you go in. If you don't think you're holy, you don't go in. That's fine too. But you don't go into the Palestine. Mm. And the Palestinians are already in there, so they stay there. Mm. All good for the good. Yeah. Okay, let's end this ripping. Cool.